Power lifting, uh, what it means to me, uh, was was a chance to finally, as silly as it sounds, finally fit in to somewhere. It was a. Uh, I always was involved in sport, but powerlifting, the community itself within, is like no other sport I've been involved in. My name is Stuart Jameson and I am an under 60 kilogram uh, powerlifter. I currently hold the all-time world record uh, deadlift for my weight class, lifting 286 kilos at uh, under 60 kilos body weight. And in the next week, I'm going to go for my record to hopefully set a new target of 300 at un under 60 kilograms body weight. Born with uh, spina bifida, scoliosis, kyphosis, and another condition which is part of spina bifida, um, diastomatal myelia. I think competing as a disabled athlete against able-bodied, you, you're, you're definitely at a disadvantage um, in many aspects. Obviously, the movements in particular around powerlifting are fixed barbell position, which makes, it, well, even for the most symmetrical of body shapes, the most able-bodied uh, types out there, a barbell is maybe not the most efficient way to move a particular weight. So when you're born with a condition that does make um, holding the bar with symmetry, for instance, you have to adapt and, and do things a little bit differently to other people. Because of being born with disabilities, it very much created an attitude of I wanted to prove um, that I could do everything that everybody else could. Um, but at the same time, yeah, the, uh, the sport gave me a, a greater quality of life, better confidence, um, yeah vastly improved. Feeling good going into this competition, considering that very deep into the diet and cut to make weight, Energy levels are, they're manageable. Um, in terms of my performance, I'm happy with. Strength's there. Uh, feeling good, feeling ready. Maybe about 12 weeks to prepare. During that time, it depends on how far away you are from your goal weight, uh, that how hard or strict that you've got to be. But through, throughout that time, there is a large number of sacrifices that you have to make, you know social events that's out the window it can't happen you know you may be able to go to social events and uh, be the guy eating out of tupperware boxes but that's no fun you know so um yeah there's definitely sacrifices that have to be made i feel good lots of energy and i'm here today to try and break my current world record um, and try and aim to hit 300 kilos make that five times body weight at under 60 kilos body weight. Of a wobble with timing, they're rushing us along, so. But, You're just tired, you just very, very tired when you have to make weight, so um, that's always in the, you know, on, on the top of your mind, but I do feel good. I don't, I, I know where, where my strength's at. I know it's there. It's just about um, getting the timing right. Go time.
good opener. We'll go 290 as the next attempt. I'm going to do that so I can break the world record. The world record is 286. So if I can take 290, I get the record. And then, providing that's successful, I know I came to do 300 today, but if it feels good, I'm going to go above. Such huge amounts of adrenaline. It's hard to contain. As soon as you put in that attempt, I think if we went 300, I'd have got it. But it's a smart move. It's a smart move. Do 290, break the world record, and just go all in for your last attempt. It's worth it. It's worth a go. Here for fun at the end of the day. Normally my, uh, my weak point is from the ground. If I get it going, it's usually mine, but no energy. None. No, just exhausted. Crazy weight cut. I'll never ever be down in this weight class again, so I'm going to have to just accept that 290 is it. That's me. I move up a weight class now. I would say for well, it may be slightly different depending on what their goal is, but for someone who's new to fitness in general, you know, find something that you love. Um, that is the biggest battle, is doing something consistently enough to reap the rewards. And it's actually a lot less than what people think they need to do. You don't need to train like me multiple hours in the gym per week. Um, but yeah, I would say find something that you love and um, that you can do consistently and yeah, just go for it. <laughs> 